This is the Pet Womp automatic pet feeder I ordered for my cat. Um, so when we're going out of town for work, we'll have some way to feed her. Um, it's very easy to use. When you first get it, um, you need to go ahead and put the batteries in the bottom of it. It takes 3D batteries. Um, the batteries are just a backup, so in case the power would go out, it would still keep its feeding schedule and not lose the feeding schedule. Um, you can't run the unit per se off the batteries. It still has to be plugged into a power outlet up there. Um, you can go ahead and put the food in it when you first get it. It holds a good amount of food. Um, we've got our cat food in there right now. Um, the front of it, this is the eye for it, which is a camera, so you can talk and see your pet through your phone or your tablet or whatever device you're using for it. When you first get it, you need to plug it up, um, flip the switch on the bottom of it to the on position, and the power light will turn on like this. You need to hold the button in right here, the set button. There's a button right here to release the top cover. This cover right here, there is a little button right there. You push in to release it. You need to hold the set button in until the link light starts blinking like this. Um, there's the app you need to install on your tablet or your phone. It's called Pet Want. After you get the app going, you can either log in or create an account or you can connect your Facebook account. Um, I'm actually going to connect my Facebook account real fast while I'm doing the video. And I'm going to use it that way because that's the quickest and easiest way to connect it. Okay, after you get the app installed and register with it or log in through your Facebook account, it's going to say connecting with PetWant right here. You're going to hit the next step. It's going to ask for your internet. I'm going to type that in. It's going to ask for your internet password. And then it's going to say connect devices Wi-Fi. So what you do at this point, you're going to go into your Wi-Fi setup on your device. And you're going to find the pet want, which is right here. And you'll see it'll pop up right there. It's going to connect to it. There it is, it's connected. Then you're going to go back here and hit the next button. And right now it's going to try to connect to the device. Okay, it just connected right there. You see what it says? Device connected and enjoy the fun. Um, I have an iPhone 6 Plus that I set it up on. So it was pretty easy to set it up. Um, you can go to try now when you first get it. Up here at the top, it's got all your settings, your account, your device management. You can access your location. You can go here for your pet. Um, you can add the picture of your pet right here. Under a pet, let's see, I'm on the wrong screen. There you go. Um, you can add the picture of your pet. It's going to ask you for a camera or a photo album. I had a picture already on my phone of my pet, so I just added that. You can edit your cat's name. My cat's name is Puma. You can enter her age. My cat is about, she's about three years old. Um, her kilograms. Um, I kind of wish that would show um, pounds instead of kilograms, um, but it don't. It just shows kilograms. So you can convert that under Google to whatever you want to convert it to. So if your cat weighed three pounds, you would convert that under Google under to kilograms, and you would enter that weight there. And it's got your information. It tells you everything about it, how long you've had the pet won't. As you see right here, I've actually had this unit for two days. And you can go here to feeding. You would go right here to enter the time for the feeding. 
Um, one thing about this thing, it runs on military time. It does not run on 12 hour increments for AM, PM. So you will need to um, set it up for military time. So per se, if you wanted to feed your cat at 2 p.m. in the afternoon, you would have to set it up for 1400. Um, that's 1400 hours. That's how military time works. Uh, we're going to set this thing up to feed her at, um, let's see right here, 1308. And I'm going to show you how it works. Okay, we've got it set up right now for 1308. And when 1308 comes, it will start feeding her. Okay, it just started feeding her as you see. And it worked really well. I had it set up for um, the three portion. You could set it up for something larger if you had a larger cat or even a dog. You would want it probably to be a higher portion. Um, my cat doesn't eat a great deal in the daytime, so I only feed her twice a day. You can set this app up to feed her four times a day if you wanted to do that. Um, one thing really nice about this app, you can actually talk to your animal through it. Um, I'm going to show you, if you go to the video portion of it here, you will be able to So as your animal is eating or just right in front of the camera, you can actually see her. So if you go on vacation or something, you can hit the button right here for speak. I don't know if it's going to work with me trying to video it, but you can hear, you hear it echoing. It's, just, it's coming out of the speaker for the unit itself. And you actually can hit listen. And you can actually hear your animal eating or some dogs will bark when they hear people's voices. You can actually do that with your animal. Um, it's got a thing for here for gallery, if you can see it. When you're using the camera, you can actually take pictures of your pet. And it will save it to your photo album on your phone. Which is really neat. I thought that was a pretty neat feature. And that's how it works. Um, we've had pretty good success with it so far. And we are glad we got it because it helps when we go on vacation or out of town for work to be able to um, feed our pet. Camera's very clear on it, as you can see. Works really good.